who finds himself being widely criticized. Harbaugh is in his sixth season at Michigan. In that time, he is one in six at home against Michigan's main rivals, Michigan State and Ohio State. This includes last Saturday's loss to Michigan State, when Michigan was a 24-point favorite. Harbaugh is 48 and 19 overall, but he's three and eight against those two, and he's lost four straight bowl games. Wilbon is the growing criticism of Harbaugh deserved. Yeah, Tony, I think in the context of what Michigan football is, what it thinks of itself, you know, big blue nation, it probably yeah. is. I mean, that record wouldn't get you criticized everywhere, wouldn't get you criticized, I'll get you praised, get you, you know, a lifetime contract in some places. But, Tony, I, I know how presumptuous and how arrogant Michigan football is and the people who are around Michigan football. This reminds me a little bit of, say, I, I, everybody's going to say I'm picking on them, reminds me of Nebraska. 15, 18 years ago or something like that, when 9-3 and three on the average or 10-2, and two, it wasn't good enough. So let's get rid of this right. guy because we can be better than that. Oh, wait, now we're stuck right. at seven on average. I mean, Michigan is in that place now. They, I, I don't think that this marriage is with, with Harbaugh is going to last. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not saying they should fire him. I'm, I can't bring myself to say that. But I don't see this marriage lasting, Tony, because it's not producing any sort of happiness at all in Ann Arbor. Yeah, so I had Pat Forty on the podcast the other day. And we were talking about Harbaugh. And he was saying that Harbaugh's contract is up at the end of next season and that neither side has talked about an extension. And he said, this is unheard of at a big school. Like, you just, you just can't have that at a big school where a guy is essentially a lame duck. And Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated said he thought Harbaugh would go back to the pros and it would end. Look, I like Jim Harbaugh a lot. I think he's really good for college football. I watch Paul Feinbaum, who I respect and like enormously, kill Harbaugh all the time. There's a couple of numbers here, Mike. He's 33 and 13 in the Big Ten. This is a great I'm football saying his conference. Record, yes. He's 33 and 13. But that's and not, you're going to get rid of him? That's not how you, you judge get rid him, of him, Tone. You judge him on Ohio State first. And we know how that's going right now. Okay, you judge him on Ohio State, and then you right. judge him. He shouldn't just be beating Michigan State in the eyes of blue. He should be crushing them, and he can't even do that. So when you look at those two, your judgment starts here. And he's close to over, close. I mean, so he's beaten Michigan State a couple of times at home. So what? That's not how they judge themselves. And so I, I, I look, I've, I've spent a lifetime watching the Big Ten and understanding, to some degree, Michigan's place in it. Tone, this is not yeah. what they imagine, and they're not recruiting, successfully recruiting against Ohio State. They're not getting the players that puts them even with Ohio State anymore. They're just not. I'll just tell you this, and I look at this from an academic standpoint. Michigan's a really good academic school. It's a top five public school in the entire country, and a lot of kids want to go there. Jim Harbaugh was a quarterback in the NFL, and he took a team to the Super Bowl as a coach. I think big name athletes should want to play for him, including over Ohio State sometimes. And it forces me to conclude, Mike, that maybe he's not that good a coach. Maybe, maybe he's actually not, as much is. as I like Maybe him. he's not connecting yeah. with recruits in the same way yeah. that we think he should yeah. and can. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.